Oh my goodness. Oh, I wanna spin around. Should I spin around? Hey, God. Why? No. <laughs> Go study your actual degree. Channel. <laughs> Ow, my toe. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is going to be a very short video telling you that it's okay to not like your art and there are many ways we can solve that with these few tips. through those phases when they're creating work that they absolutely hate it they had such a great idea then they sketch it up like okay yeah this is gonna be so good I planned out everything I did my prelims I did my research then they start the actual piece and when they're doing it at some point they stop and be like right this is trash and uh, no and I'm just here to tell you and support you and say it's absolutely fine to feel that way. Honestly, there's so much artists out there that watch all of their work and they look at it as though a progress report. So you'd have work that you started and you've never finished. Some artists, that's all of their work, right? Then there's pieces that they finish, but it's like, okay, I could improve on that. So some people look at it so like let's say between 2018 and 2020 you can see your progress as an artist from then to now and how you've improved or how you've you know changed how your style has changed how everything has changed and yeah you can literally use those pieces as progress reports and i say it's okay to not feel okay if however you are determined and you are one of those critical artists that is absolutely head on and straight about finishing a piece and needing it to be successful and great and for you to like it 100% of the way from start to finish then these tips can help you in a broad number of ways and let's say you're doing a piece and you've absolutely hate it like you've done something and you're just not feeling it even though you're not fully finished yet you're like halfway through it and you're just not feeling it anymore it just looks like trash what i'm gonna say is stop what you're doing and step back from the piece and just look at it just look at it take up your preliminary studies take up your research of what you were doing look at composition look at drawing is something wrong with the composition is it off is this supposed to actually be in the center and not to the side bottom corner something let's say rule of thirds that's a good place to put things as well it draws your attention in so look at all these different things you know like composition your drawing is it not accurate enough is something off is you are you needing to do foreshadowing are you needing to you know reproportionate things is things out of proportion not to scale you know look at all these different things look at your color scheme is this color supposed to actually be to complement this color and recreate a complete different design who knows do you need to start over that's up to you but just stop look at the actual piece look at your prelims and see what can be tweaked where in order to get it this might take a day this might take two days actually this might take the rest of the evening but just don't work on your piece until you have figured out exactly what you need to do okay another um, tip is that you can go to Pinterest you can go to social media you can see what other people have done that are similar to what you're working on and you could take some advice or you could take some techniques from what they're doing and see how you can improve on your current 
piece that you are doing and if it could be better look at other artists work and see what they have done that's different from yours look for that inspiration and don't just go on like if you're painting acrylic don't just keep painting and painting and painting on the canvas because obviously you're just going to be painting color on color on color and you're just not getting the right what you're looking for and you're just hating it more and more and you're just wasting paint and you're creating so much layers that the canvas is going to be so thick afterwards and yeah if it's on watercolor paper you can't just simply paint on that you know like if you paint a dark spot on something lighter and it's actually supposed to be lighter then there's really no way of putting watercolor on that if however that doesn't work this follows the other tip where take some time and step away from the piece and all the work completely and take like a day or two and then come back to it when you're working on a piece you are constantly engaging with this piece and you are seeing exactly this piece which could be a good thing you're seeing exactly what goes where and how but as every artist you are constantly looking at it and seeing what you like but you also develop a dislike for what you're looking at like you're seeing it so much that you tend to don't like it or you tend to just don't know how to because you're so focused on finishing what you already have up here and what you planned out you were so excited to do it and you wanted it and it's just not coming out great so step back from it and give it a day or two and then maybe even a week however long then come back to it with fresher eyes and look at it and see oh wow okay maybe this could have changed maybe that could have changed so you're another option is you could ask for an outside opinion from someone who is into art like you or who does similar work to you or who knows about your work and what you are trying to do and they could look at it and you could get a better opinion of what could change and what's wrong but that outside opinion could greatly help you and don't be afraid to ask for people opinion as well as an artist you are constantly learning you are constantly trying to build on your skill so don't be afraid to ask other people okay so what do you think of this could you just give me a little thoughts on this and see where I went wrong what can I fix so yeah you can use literally all of these tips to figure out what it is you actually want so you could literally you even have to use one of them you could use two three all of the tips that I give to you if none of that is helping and your piece is somehow completely different and you are trying to achieve something that hasn't been done before or you don't know the correct solution to it just step back from the piece just give it a day give it three days give it a week and just be like right focus on something else start another piece if you have so much different ideas and you have other pieces to work on or if you're like me who's doing engineering and art go study something else go study your actual degree <laughs> yeah. and then come back to it after a week and try to look at it and see if anything can change repeat that process of preliminary studies research pinterest and the artists see if anything's clicking if nothing's still clicking then you get an outside opinion and see what's happening there see if they can give you some advice see if for some reason you don't like anything that person's saying ask someone else and if you don't like what they're saying then maybe it's the piece maybe you just need to take a lot of time and start planning something else start doing something that's you know if you want to achieve that goal if you're trying to really get that goal in mind then something has to be wrong and there must be a solution just take more time repeat that process give it another week and try to do more prelims like just do a lot of research and preliminary studies yes, i really hope that you enjoy these tips tell me if you use these tips if it has helped if it hasn't helped then maybe if you want you can even send me your pieces and i will look at them i will tell you what i think because obviously everyone's style is different think, but drop a like drop some comments below tell me about all of this if you think my tips are good if they're trash that's fine if they're trash so, give yeah. me some
Bye.